Ladies and gentlemen, Shark and Noor present three three minute rounds for the amateur flyweight title, sponsored by SP Security Selections. And in the red corner, with a record of five wins and no defeats, weighing in a 122.4 pounds, representing Gods of War MMA in red, in Haran Lale. Seven pounds and representing Pro Systems MMA in Brighton, Helly Head Flyweight title. Aaron Laley looking extremely relaxed and keen to get this one underway. And Elliot Hoy does what he always does, rushes out to the middle to meet his man. Really looking forward to this one. First title fight of the night. And they're not missing about. Hoy looking for the takedown. Great sprawl from Laley. Trying to dig that underhook in. A little boy ripping out the single there. Laley got nice uh, control on the arm to stop the takedown. Looks to take the back now, Hoy. Oh, oh, nice. Fantastic work from Laley in the scramble. And now he's in on the takedown himself and gets it.
just goes to show how, how well-rounded both these fighters are. Yeah, great work from Lay to get out of that position. Now, looking to take the back of Hoy, perhaps. Hoy in on that Kimura grip, but looks very low on it, gives it up. Nice foot stomps there from Lely. And gets the takedown. Tries to posture up, Hoy. Looking to get the hips high. Lely just marches his way into half guard. Yeah, Hoy using the fence. Smart move to stand up. Yeah, he's done well not to really ship any uh, damage, Hoy, in these positions. Not really taking any shots. Yeah, he's, he's no, no damage either way, really, punch-wise. Um, Hoy using the cage for an armbar, which is, is a very smart thing to do. Lely tucking his head. I mean, we're already down to the last 40 seconds. Yeah, fast and furious round. Lely doing well just to square those hips up, Colin. Yeah, he's getting his head, you know, getting his head in close. If he puts his head up, the leg can go in front of it, and that's where we get the armbar, which Hoy is trying to do. And there we go. And there we go. Elliot Hoy in on this arm. 20 seconds still to go in the round. Just loses it there. Yeah, he did well to drop his head again. But Laley's still in the danger zone here. Yeah, he needs to stack. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left might not be long enough for Elliot Hoy. And as we say that, Laley explodes out. Our close, intense round. Be interesting now. The advice is going to be from the corner of Laley there, because although we got that top position, Hoy was threatening with the, the subs, Colin. And the, you know, Hoy, a great all-rounder. His record really doesn't do him justice. I mean, he's in, uh, I think it's five and four, it was announced as. But it's always in close fights, always giving everybody trouble, you know? He is a, a very dangerous fighter. Yeah, so, I mean, amateur records can be the same sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. The thing is, with, with the, the amateurs, really, you know, you're going to be fighting people that you don't really know a lot about. And a good fighter will take any fight. You know, they, they believe in their training, they believe in their coach, and, um, and take any fight. And so that can happen. Second round, about to get underway here. Most tense 125 pound amateur title bout thus far. Boy, again, it's customary. Fast out the gate, beautifully ducks under. Can he complete this takedown? Laley does well just to shook his man up and get those underhooks. Hoy relentlessly goes back, looks to run the pipe on the single, gets it. if you can keep him down from here. I like that arm control that Layla uses, Colin, just to disrupt Hoy. Yeah, you need two arms to put pressure on someone, really. And um, he's doing it. It's, it's a great move because it's... Look at the defence. I mean, now he's up onto one foot. He'll probably be able to stand from this. There you go. And yeah. He's up. Yeah, that's great. Fantastic work. And now looking for a takedown of his own, which I think he'll get because he'll rip the legs... Yeah, rip the legs out, drop down. But again, Hoy can use the, the uh, cage just the same way. Yeah, extremely impressive work from Laley. And you know, to the uninitiated, this, this cage work, that doesn't look like there's much to it. But just fantastic use of that little grip that we spoke about to work his way back to his feet and get his own takedown. But Elliot Hoy has shown he's dangerous off his back in round one. Turn his back for a moment there. Yeah, Laley, some of these are getting through now, Colin. He's going back to that position. Yeah, Laley's really doing a great job of controlling. Boy. Maybe looking for the guillotine here. He, is, he had chin control, but he's going to the back. Boy rolls out. 
great jiu-jitsu from both guys here. Really, really nice on the ground. Nice, nice movements. They're not. They're, they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, great matchup again from the Shokanoa team here. Good round for Lely thus far. It's difficult to remember, he was the one that was initially taken down, Colin. This has all come from that fantastic little grip that he had on Hoy and just enabled him to get back to his feet and then get his own takedown, and he's made it count. Yeah, the problem is Hoy's a couple of steps behind Lely, and, and he will continue to move forward. So he's got a kind of kind of mediate the pace and get back to get back to a position where he can start working himself and change the tide of the fight if possible. Smart move from Elliot Hoy there, looked in danger of getting kneed in the face and just took those points with 10 seconds to go, Colin. I guess there's no point in receiving a blow like that. Rolling under for the leg, not going to be long enough. Good round. Good round for Aaron Laley, a Gods of War MMA. And you expect the Gods of War guys kind of to traditionally have good wrestling. Um, I think the gym was started by Phil Else, I believe, um, some time ago, who's always been a good wrestler for MMA. And you can see that with Lely. It's, it's interesting because at the moment it seems like it's Hoy's game plan as well to go and get the takedowns. But Lely just able in both rounds to reverse the position and get on top. Yeah, God, the Gods of War guys, they all seem to hit a double double leg takedown. It's, it's kind of like their, their uh, trademark move when they come to shock and awe. Um, but uh, really nice, really nice action from, from uh, both the fighters. Very impressive. You know, both young guys looking to make their name. And this is the last round now. Let's see what's going to happen. Third round on the way. Boy again in on that double and gets it. Laley does well though, just to sweep his man and end up in mount. Very high though, Colin over the arms and just decides to yes. nonchalantly walk away. Great action. I think he wants to stand here, Lely. Yeah, I mean, why not? If you're having success somewhere, stick to the game plan. Nice, nice little knee to the body from Lely in there. Seemed to buckle Hoy momentarily. Lely again lets his man up. Looking for the uppercut, it looks like. Hoy slowing down a little bit now. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think there was that, uh, that body shot with the knee seemed to hurt yeah. him. Yeah, I think you're right. Taking some deep breaths, Hoy. Again, Lely going to the body, and yeah, Hoy looks exhausted now. He looks a different fighter, maybe looking for the net. Oh, tight guillotine position there. Tight guillotine oh, choke, he gets the tap. Fantastic performance from Gods of Wars, Aaron Laley, Elliot Hoy, always a game fighter coming in there and giving it all he's got, but Laley shows some great wrestling, fantastic submission victory here, and looks a real prospect for me, Colin. I mean, we spoke about the 125 pound division in the UK in, in the amateur ranks and how it's building up, and Aaron Laley, you know, top of that prospect list for me. Yeah, very, very nice. I mean, he, he began to dominate the fight and managed to, to get the finish. Um, so, you know, he takes the belt home, new amateur champion. And your winner, after one minute and 28 seconds of round three, by way of Gaila Jean Chuk, and now, Shock and Dawn, amateur flyweight champion, Haran Lale!
And let's cheer for your runner-up, Heliot High.